Welcome back to Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans to another really exciting Spider-Man PS4 related video and in today's video over an hour ago on Twitter we have a really exciting post in regards to someone who actually works on the game and someone who is actually very close to a certain character involved in the game and if you don't know why I'm talking about I'm talking about John here if you guys don't know who John is John was announced back in October when the Paris Games Week trailer was revealed that he is actually the character model that Insomniac Games are using to create Peter Parker's model in the game and at the time of this recording a little over an hour ago on January 17th, John posted a picture of himself simply saying, coming soon, hashtag Spider-Man PS4. And of course in the picture you see him wearing a motion capture headset as well as motion capture dots that are painted all over his face in order for the animators to animate Peter Parker properly in the game. So of course John's overall tweet is very obscure because it could possibly mean a plethora of things when he simply says coming soon. Of course the first thing that his tweet could mean is that it's 2018 and that the game itself will actually release soon in the year of 2018. Or if you you recall the interview I had with Brian Intahar, another possibility is that we could possibly get more footage soon because of what Brian says to me at the end of our interview right here. I know you guys are itching for more content, it's coming, <laughs> I promise. So clearly given Brian's statement that he said to me as well as John's awesome tweet, maybe we won't have to wait as long as we would think until E3 until we actually get more official footage or information about the game. But the primary possibility that I think John's tweet could relate to the most is actually another behind the scenes video. Now I know that some of you guys don't actually like the behind the scenes videos that we've been getting, but I am actually very fond of them and I think that they are all great videos. And the first behind the scenes video that we got is actually from the D23 Expo where we got the awesome behind the scenes event where we saw more gameplay and more concept art of the game which was extremely awesome then we got another behind the scenes video at psx where we basically got more story details as well as confirmed writers for the game with dan slott and christos gage as well as a small clip of spider-man dive bombing in the city but since john a character model for the game is actually the one who's posting this tweet i think we are in for a behind the scenes video which i've personally been wanting for a very long time and that is for a behind the scenes look at the voice cast of the game now even though john is the character model for peter parker yuri lowenthal is the official voice actor for peter parker slash Spider-Man in Spider-Man PS4, and given what we've heard of Mary Jane so far in the story, I do believe Laura Bailey is actually the official voice of Mary Jane in the game. And there have been other behind the scenes videos in the past for other games like Uncharted and God of War of course, where they actually show the actors on stage actually doing motion capture for the characters themselves in the game, which looks awesome. Sam, get in the goddamn car! Run faster! Stop arguing! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I broke it! <laughs> I'm that strong. I know it was never what you wanted, but after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. Nah. But at least I know the truth now. Truth. The truth. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. You are welcome to surprise me. And I've been personally wanting to see what it looks like for Spider-Man for so long now, and if this is actually what John is teasing, I really, really hope that a behind-the-scenes featurette featuring the voice cast as well as the motion capture will be in store soon, and I can't wait to see if this is actually true. Now, in other Spider-Man PS4-related news, there was a discussion that James Stevenson had with another Spider-Man PS4 fan the other day, where he asked, Hey man, I don't know if you are allowed to say it, but if you are, will you release a SE slash CE of the game, which means Special Edition or Collector's Edition? Preferable steel cases in both versions and PS4 slash pro themed SKUs and James Stevenson replied with simply stay tuned now recently if you guys didn't know God of War actually got its collector's edition revealed recently and it looks awesome it shows a statue of Kratos a lot of little trinkets that you can have and also some digital content in the game and I highly expect Spider-Man PS4 to do the same thing and Jacinda Chu has been tweeting about something really exciting about the possibility of something in the collector's edition being wearable 
web shooters. I'm gonna try and find the tweet if I can put it on the screen so you guys can see it, but that could be a possibility of what the collector's edition for the game could have. Again, it's not officially confirmed whether or not that we will get a collector's edition, but given James' statement and that the recent reveal of a God of War collector's edition, I'm just really, really anticipating for a collector's edition for Spider-Man, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So let me know what all you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think John is teasing about new footage or just some information or just that the game is gonna release this year in 2018? Whether it's something big or small that he's talking about, I'm just super pumped to actually see him in the mocap suit. And also from James Stevenson's statement, I really, really hope that a collector's edition will be revealed soon for Spider-Man PS4. I'm super, super excited about this game, guys. Literally, you can't even imagine. I'm, I'm hyped. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.